This is the new Motorola Edge, one of the most affordable 5G phones out there. At just $700, it undercuts even OnePlus, and to get to that lower price, Motorola opted for the next best alternative to Snapdragon 865 and equipped it with the more cost-efficient Snapdragon 765 chip instead. This is Qualcomm's first integrated 5G chipset. It also added a huge battery, 64 megapixel camera, and a headphone jack. Hello guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena, and this is our review of the Motorola Edge. Available in midnight magenta and solar black, the Motorola Edge looks pretty and feels solid, but not too heavy in the palm. Love it or leave it, Motorola is going all in with the display curves too, which aid in keeping the phone narrower than the screen diagonal number suggests. The 6.7 inch screen is all at one and it curves sharply on both sides, enhancing the aesthetics of the phone and making the swipe to go back gesture a breeze. The tall 21 by 9 aspect ratio of the display makes the large phone rather comfortable to hold and operate with just one hand. The rigid power lock key on the side helps you feel it without looking and overall the Moto Edge design, while not winning any contests in originality, is rather ergonomic. As for the screen, it's sufficiently bright for outdoor use, but it's far from the very best and also delivers rather cold looking colors with the blue and green spectrum off the mark. We were kind of used to seeing amazing displays lately, so we definitely expected more here. Now what is great about this display is that it runs at a 90Hz refresh rate, meaning that it refreshes 90 times a second rather than 60 as most other phones. And this enhances the experience and makes everything run extra smooth, but if you want to maximize battery life, you still have the option to switch back to 60Hz, which gives you around 10% improvement in battery life. One thing that is missing on the Motorola Edge is an official IP68 water protection rating. The phone has quote-unquote water repellent design, as Motorola calls it, and it does say they were tested according to IP68 standards, but without the official certificate, you should always be extra careful. Now with the Edge, Motorola is also proving that if there is a will, a space for both a headphone jack and a large battery can be found in 2020. And it also comes with a pair of in-ear headphones that look good and sound quite decent too. The phone also comes with an official case in the box that serves as a bumper on the sides that leaves the curved display sides exposed for operation and protects everything else which is a nice touch, saving you extra money and time needed to look for and choose a wrapper. Now the Snapdragon 765 chip on this phone is a big deal. This shovel-ready 5G solution supports the necessary bands for US carriers as well as international carriers 5G, with the only exception being the millimeter wave range, which requires bulky antennas and is not supported on this phone. So what about the cameras? With the Edge, Motorola is introducing the trendy high-res sensor with pixel binning technology, providing a 64 megapixel main camera on the back of the phone that merges four physical pixels into one virtual pixel for a detailed 16 megapixel final shot. You also have an ultra-wide camera to capture those epic looking shots, as well as a 2 times zoom telephoto camera and even the so-called time-of-flight sensor that captures a depth map for portraits. The ultra-wide camera does double duty as a macro shooter and while not great, you can get an up-close view that is not possible on most other phones. So how good are the cameras? Well, the answer is they're fine in daylight and they produce mostly sharp and clean photos with decent dynamic range and a good amount of detail. We'd like to see a bit more punch in the colors though, which leer to the cold side of the spectrum and a tad more saturation for more eye-pleasing looks, this would be hugely appreciated. The Edge is also capable of 4K video recording at up to 60 frames per second and can do high-res slow motion as well. The 4K footage comes out pretty well, with no visible artifacts, excellent continuous autofocus speeds and great stereo sound recording. 
Just like with the still shots though, colors appear on the cold side. Now with the Edge and the Edge Plus, Motorola introduced a new version of its Android skin called MyUX. Now Motorola knows people aren't fans of bloated skins with apps that duplicate the functionality that Google already offers, so it still keeps it simple with only a few extra features. There's also custom software to make the most of that curved edge display. Custom menus you can pull from the side, in-game triggers, battery indicators and notification lights are all part of the Edge experience. The good things about the new MyUX edition, however, end here. While you can now choose your own themes, the default settings look like we're back in Android gingerbread days. Everything looks very basic and to top it off the phone comes with a great selection of exactly one wallpaper. But it's a good looking one. In addition for a light stock Android overlay, my UX bombards you with annoying warnings and tutorials from the get go, no matter if you fire the camera app, the settings or try to set the trigger buttons for games. We also must add the haptic feedback to our general list of complaints. The vibration motor on this phone is too weak and be prepared for the phone to keep shaking loud and long with every notification, which is quite annoying. Now as much as we complain about these nuances though, we have to say that Motorola did a great job on battery life. The Edge comes with a 4500mAh battery that will last the average user up to 2 days off the charger and the phone lasted especially long while streaming videos online. You can check out the full results of the Motorola Edge battery test over at our website at www.phonearena.com, you can find the link in the description. Now charging with the 18 watt charger that's provided in the box however is nowhere nearly as fast as you get on say OnePlus phones and the full charge takes more than 2 hours on the Motorola Edge. So there you have it, the Motorola Edge, a $700 phone that gives you 5G connectivity, extra long battery life and a different curved screen design but it compromises a bit on display quality, it comes with a dated Android interface and a camera that is just average. If you're considering this phone, don't hesitate to also check out our OnePlus 8 review, as that phone might be the better deal at the same price. And if you're using the Moto Edge, let me know how do you like it in the comments. Drop a like if you enjoyed watching this, subscribe to our channel Phone Arena for more such videos. My name is Vic, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.